I'm oh, knackered. I really need my coffee. Yeah, same. It's Saturday morning. <gasps> oh, oh, there God. they are. Got mm. no energy. I'm looking freaking everywhere for these, and they were there. <laughs> oh, I, Are you too tired? I, uh, I'm tired, but I, I think a good strong coffee and I'll be fine. Are you sure? And the lovely Canadian girl that makes me coffee is leaving. Has left. Oh, has it's left? Crackling. Oh. She's left, she's absolutely lovely, really nice girl. Yeah, real sweetie. And I said to her, um, so when do you go back to Canada? She said, I'm not Canadian, I'm American. I went, oh no. <laughs> I felt so betrayed. Why did you think she was Canadian? <laughs> because she was so nice. Oh my God, <laughs> seriously? Here, take that. And uh, we both laughed for about 10 minutes about it. She's like, what do you mean I'm American? I was like, oh, oh no. But it was funny, it was really funny. Yeah, well, who's going to make our coffee this morning? I don't know. I hope it's good. Uh, I, so I need fuel and... Coffee. Uh, I need to do the tyres because I haven't done the tyres for about a month. Gosh, this bike feels so high up when you haven't been on it for a while. Right, you blip the garage. Yeah, yeah, ready. Garage doors, you didn't close the freaking garage oh door, Kim. Oh my God, I did, and then I must have pushed it again by accident. Freaking fat fingers. <laughs> Seriously, I'm... I've never met anybody like you. Bye you bye, want to bye, see bye. Kim trying it... to use a mobile phone? It could have been you putting it in the bag that actually did that. Absolute nonsense, nonsense. It would have been. Right. You're the Put, hold your freaking little right. fat self off. Shush. There'll be a lot of traffic probably today. I know. Everyone's coming for the Wanaka challenge. I think is there, I think there might be an, an something else on this weekend, not the challenge, but something else. I don't know. See these flags? Yeah, what's it say? I can't. I'm Wanaka busy. Wanaka challenge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Wanaka challenge is basically a load of fit people go and do Massive running trial. and. Oh, should we say good morning? Yeah, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hello. It's Hi, probably we're... not. It's not the best time to be talking to me right now. I'm not in a particularly good mood. And he hasn't had his coffee. I'm having my coffee. And he's and he's tired. I'm tired. I'm a little bit fed up with everything at the moment. Mainly work, but uh, I'll get over it. <coughs> a nice ride on the bike and a coffee and I'll be happy as Larry. Yep. That's why we have motorbikes, isn't it? To uh, make you feel good. Make you feel good. Yeah, I've had a crap week. Just crap. Crap week. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And the weather's just been horrendous. Well, it, I mean... Yeah, your definition of horrendous. It's been 30 degrees every day and clear blue skies, but it's been incredibly windy. Like, annoyingly windy. Yeah, but then it rained. It's only rained once all week for about an hour. Oh, and then, well, it's, it's really the wind. I can't stand it. It, just make, it makes everybody mental. <laughs> it makes you mental. It's difficult working it's outside really in the wind. Yeah, I know, and I think that's why you've been in such a bad mood. It's been a hard week. Um, oh, where is it? I don't think they do an air thing here. Where's he going with that van? He's going in there. Oh. Uh, okay. Just going to look for the tyre. I can't see one. I don't think there is one, babe. That's right. what I said. Right. I don't think right. there is one. Yeah, right, well, jump off. I'm half asleep as well. <laughs> right. Have we done this one before? You've been in here before? No. What do you do? It's a. You've got my wallet. It's in there. Have you got the key to get in there? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking hell! Oh my god! I really need a coffee. 
Uh, probably credit card. Can you get the credit card? Well, have I got any money? Because I'm um, pretty sure I don't. I have. Okay, I'll use yours then. Okay, so we're on pump number 11. Yes, what do you do? I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure I could figure it out. Push that in there. Insert card. Please wait. Select pump. 11. And push enter. Dollar limit for delivery. $30. Is that going to fit? Yeah, so if I only use 25, it'll only charge me for 25. Remove card. Approved. Are you sure about that? Was just I'm duty? Well, how on earth would I know? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, if you put 30 in there, it's going to give you 30 gas, isn't it? And, and it's paid already, so you can't just... You know, what do you do with your extra... Ah, shit. I think I chose 90. Oh, no, it's going. 95. We're good. How about we would just wait and see? Oh, <clears throat> maybe you should have done 25. So much going on. At 30 dollars. So 30 dollars. 14 litres. 14 litres. That's freaking expensive. And that's, that's the cheapest place in town. It's cheapest, yeah. It's about 20 cents a litre cheaper. <laughs> We're both like. <laughs> oh my god! It's just like coffee, oh, please. Yes, I had a few wines last night, and I'm feeling it today. A few wines. <laughs> Steve uh, messaged us from the UK, and he was like, "Oh, what was the?" Uh, what was the occasion? What was the occasion? No, you said Kim's massively hungover. I said over. Kim's hungover. You said massively, and you said I was really grouchy. You were making up all these. That's n yes, you okay. Oh, I wasn't so grouchy. Steve, if you're watching this, mate, she was grouchy. She's I been was. a right grouch. I tell you what, Steve, I got grouchy when I saw what he wrote to you. Yeah, I wrote but that you were grouchy, and yeah, you no, were. No, but yeah, I was massively hungover and. And then it was you fire. were massively hung over. I so I had a bit of a headache. And anyway, Steve was like, what was the occasion? And I was like, uh, Friday? <laughs> <laughs> I had a tough week. Um, we do good wines in New Zealand, I have to say. <sighs> but anyway, yes, no, I woke up with a terrible headache. And, uh, but Tom made me pancakes and a cup of tea, and I was absolutely fine after that. Mm-hmm. See, uh, the, I know that there's a lot of women that watch this channel and I, they, but they'll be thinking, wow, he is the perfect man. <laughs> 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 and I'd like to say, you're right, no, ladies watching this. Let me just say, that's <laughs> highly, highly unusual for Tom <laughs> to make me breakfast. What he normally does is he waits uh, until he wakes up in about seven usually he waits until i wake up and so i can go and make a tea and toast yeah he sits there and wait for me to wake up <laughs> i uh, i have to put up sitting next to you <laughs> with kim snoring <laughs> like a stuffed pig don't Just snore <laughs> that's not true like that anyway so the moment i open my right, eyes jump off me, dear He's watching my, my face. Well, the watch. evidence. And then it's like, can you toast? <laughs> Not so true. As I open my eyes. <laughs> 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 Just like, how long have you been away? <laughs> <laughs> She's been away for about an hour. <laughs> That's <laughs> Not true. You're so lazy. <laughs> Unbelievable. That is not true. Uh, folks, what actually happens is, is I have to get up every morning and feed Tubbs before no, she wakes. you do not. What a load of absolute codswallops. It's the other way round. Because you won't even get out of bed until you've had a cup of tea and some toast. <laughs> and Jordan's going, is Tom ready? Are we, we've got to go. And I'm like, no, he's just sitting in bed having his tea and toast. <laughs> he just rolls his eyes every single morning. <laughs> not true at all. Oh wow, babe! Magnificent day. Oh look, there's a little elephant. 
on the Metzler. See the little elephant? Oh my gosh. Like the um the oh. Lancia the Lancia Delta had an elephant. I'm not really convinced on the recommended tire pressures to be honest. Just as something I don't know. That we just came to seem to smoke rear tires um, so quickly. I wonder if it's me being on the back that's doing that. Well, of course, but actually, we need a new front tire really badly. Oh, actually, you know what? We need to go up to Christchurch and get one. Oh, no. No, we no, no. We're going to gonna try down the road. The tire for the new bike yeah. shop, yeah. I haven't got the money to buy one at the moment. That's the problem. No. Because we just bought a new computer, which Tom is going to tell you all about. He's very excited, aren't you, babe? Mm-hmm. 37.4, 37.4, 39.7, 39.2, 38. Okay, 38 is the, is what I, so it's 42 on the back, 38 on the front, is, is right? what it recommends. I think it's too hard, personally, but... It does handle nicely at these, um, at, at this amount of pressure in the tight. It does seem to handle quite nicely. Um, but I don't know, it just seems to wear, wear out quite quickly. Right, there's a gentleman here who wants to get in, so. Off to get a coffee. Right. Oh, I, I, sorry, but there's no way I'm putting my visor down. I know, it's hot. It is. It? Let me have a look what the temperature is. <laughs> it says it's only 20 degrees. 20? Yeah. Well, it's just the sun is so strong. Yeah, the sun is just crazy strong. Crazy strong. Um, but yeah, I can feel the, the wind chill factor. If I had to guess, I would have said 28 to 30. That's how much hotter the sun makes you feel. When you're still... I mean, yeah. when you're riding, you can feel the... the when you're feeling. going, it's actually not so bad, is it? No, but it's like when you're, when you're, when you're at stationary, um, on the way. So you're going to do it on the way? Should be fine. Guess what the temperature is? What? In the time... Uh-oh. What? Uh... Airplane? No, I forgot to do my helmet up. Oh, <laughs> Waiting for me. Did we get to do your helmet up? No cars behind. Yep, she's going to be a scorcher, all right. Right, we're going to Macarora, which we've done quite a few times before. Oh, but for those I'm of you that my gloves on. oh, are you You're still putting them on? <laughs> Sorry, I'm blasting it. <laughs> um, for those of you that haven't seen this before, it is amazing. So, hello and welcome to Hi, our everybody. little hello. <laughs> A little trip to Macca's, as the local call the locals call it. One of Tom's favourite roads. It is my favourite road. Not quite so much fun two up. I must admit, you've got to go quite a bit slower. Yes, you do, especially with tops on back. Yeah. Oh, that's better with my long sleeve top off. It was hot. I told you, you were like, oh. Take your next scarf, take your next scarf. I'm like, no frick away, it's going to be 30 degrees. Well, the air was a bit chilly this morning. No, it wasn't. Well, yes, it was. It wasn't. Far from chilly. Nice to see young girls on these little 250s and 125s and scooters yeah. scooting around town. I to ride when I was younger. It definitely, definitely helps if you do it while you're younger. It's hard to, harder to do it while you're older, I think. To learn. Yeah. Older. It's not impossible, though. I think when you're younger, you've got probably more confidence. But yeah, then, you're just a little bit more gun-ho, which is kind of what you need to be on a motorbike. But then as you get older, the wisdom factor kicks in. And yeah. So. You need sort to be passive aggressive on a motorbike. I'm way too cautious. You're way too cautious. You'll be slamming your brakes on all the time. <laughs> Going, Going oh, the oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Try and speak up a little bit. Yeah. Like that. Oh, that's better. 
Yeah, you come through very quiet on the videos. It, you, you need, oh, you've got oh, a I... little squeaky voice anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's like in the pub when you're talking and everyone's going what, what, and and then you try and you try and shout and it's like, <laughs> and they're all like, you what? They're all half deaf anyway. I know because half them don't wear earplugs. None of them wear earplugs. <laughs> I know, it's like on the Friday night at the pub when I'm trying to speak and they're all just looking at me with this. Like, yeah, it's because they're all deaf. And you have a squeaky voice. Yeah, not that squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, I'll do my best to speak louder. Yeah, speak a bit louder. Um, it's hard for me. I know, but you've got to learn to project voice. your voice a little bit better. Like my beautiful English voice. Oh my gosh, is that what you call it? <laughs> I tell you what, you've got one of the most annoying laughs <laughs> on the planet. You love it. <laughs> it's, really it's more a cackle than a laugh. <laughs> And you laugh exactly like your mum and like your sister. I know. And when all three of you are laughing, it's just, I have They're to leave the room. They're all just cackling together. I, I literally have to leave the room, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh wow, the lake looks amazing. It is a beautiful day to be alive, babe. Yeah, totally. Look at that. Stunning. That is stunning. What a shame that there isn't like roads that you can travel no, around no, and no. it would be awesome wouldn't it you see if we had a gs we could do that road that goes along yeah along yeah yeah the there's there is a dirt road that you can't see from here especially on the gopros that goes all the way around the lakes That's it amazing. is private land though well you can get permission you have to get permission from the farmer yeah and another one i'd like to do is when we go through before we go through the neck, you know, this bit, I'll show you further up. Well, yeah, that's where it comes out. It comes out yeah. at the neck if you go all yeah. the way around. But there's a dock campsite down there. I love this bike. I can't see us changing this bike. You know what I would like to do? What? Instead of spending all that money, is just lighten this, make it even lighter. You're getting aftermarket exhaust? Well, so I could get what they call headers, which is pipes that come out the engine and they get rid of your catalytic converter. That's where all your weight is, is in the cat. Um, that's the big bulbous thing underneath that looks ugly as shit. And then what you can do is you can, you can either keep the original exhaust or you can change it. And I found out by doing that, hold on, hold on tight. <laughs> Love it. <coughs> you save seven and a half kilograms, roughly, oh, give or take. Which is a considerable amount of weight. That's like, it it's quite a lot. Oh. The downside of doing that is you end up with a much louder exhaust. Louder? Louder. Uh, that might be a bit difficult when we're trying to vlog. Well, I mean, right now all I can hear is wind noise. So I can faintly hear the engine sort of whirring away. But the microphone picks up the engine noise quite a lot. Yeah. So... But I think, to be perfectly honest, the reality is we'd never be able to afford to do that anyway, unless Arrow is watching and wants to give me some headers and a pipe, um, then I will put them on. Otherwise, I, ca I just can't afford it. It's like three, four thousand dollars. You have to get the bike mapped as well. They have to put it on a machine and dyno it, right. which, oh, yeah. which makes it run much smoother, by the way, and much nicer. Oh, right. Yeah, the catalytic converter. Yeah. 
No, it's for um, emissions. It's Don't just. Try and look at me, babe. No, no, I'm just. I'm being sociable. <laughs> it's just for emissions. Your catalytic converter just basically. Um, it's to meet standards of clean air. But we live in New Zealand where there's A, no law against taking the cat off, and B, so few people live here. The tiny, tiny bits of pollution that this bike would create without a cat is I'm microscopic. Kidding. I'm just getting that view. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm very anti-polluting, but the reality is, is this motorbike doesn't really need a catalytic converter. On the flip side, there would be people that would argue that it's been designed with it to have it. So, I don't know. I, I don't know, actually. I'm, I'm really torn about it. But I think, at the end of the day, it boils down to the fact that we absolutely cannot afford to get it done, so... No, so it's, what so, we need to be yeah. looking at is getting a different tyre. The best way to lose 7 kgs is if I just stop eating cakes. No <laughs> 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 wonder we just have our coffee. <laughs> we had a... Yeah, but that was a healthy cake. <laughs> <laughs> it had lemons in it. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and the sugar ups your body metabolism so that you lose weight. That's uh, it's actually quite a good idea before you go for a big ride. You need your sugars though. Oh no, that's why I had it. You need your sugars and your I need caffeine. my sugars and my caffeine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that mountain over there, isn't it amazing? No. Vertical cliffs up there of rock. Crazy, eh? Yeah, just awesome. So that's where I want to go that, that Yeah, so that, um, that there, can you oh, see it? That's a dock campsite. You can go and stay there for like five bucks a night. It looks amazing. It does look amazing. I would yeah. love to do that. Um, so Tom and I are kind of tossing around the idea of maybe doing a little tenting weekend away. Tenting, not tinting. We thought we'd like try, uh, try and wrap it. Yeah, uh, I'll be amazed if you tent. I just thought, mind you, I mean, it's quite a lot of weight on a bike when you're pulling it. Tenting would be fun. There's a big um, bike, the Vincent Bike Rally, on this weekend, actually. Vincent. Yeah. So we could find out where it was. <laughs> anyway, so... I have bought a new computer. When I say I have bought it, <laughs> I've put a new computer on the credit card. Um, it took us about six months to pay off the Italy trip, didn't it, babe? Yeah. So we finally paid off the credit card and then I was like, stuff it. I was having computer problems. In fact, my computer, my old one, I haven't got the new one yet, is at home right now, crunching away doing editing it's, it's, just, old now, so it's, it's actually nine years two, old nine. Yeah. Oh, yeah so it's time for a new one oh so, you were just struggling with the blogging and like editing and uh the, the hours and hours and hours that i spent editing I, I just i was just like i'm i'm done with this waiting and waiting and waiting for the computer to crunch through all the editing I, I, so i i bought an absolute weapon lightning fast computer which I will do a video on and show you guys yeah 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 um, good, good idea but it is it is ridiculous <laughs> luckily I know a guy in Seattle called Andy and he's a mate of mine and he's the guy him and I are complete opposites um, in belief systems um, and politics, complete opposites. However, he's pretty much my best mate. <laughs> so we talk all the time. Um, and he's a computer programmer. So with my small amount of knowledge on computers and his very, very in-depth knowledge on computers, we built one online. 
um, specifically for editing and gaming, of course, not doesn't hurt to play games. So together we sat there for a couple of hours and we went through every tiny component and large component and chose each individual piece and then there's a place in Christchurch PB Tech which will put it together for you for a small fee. So we're just going through the net now from leaving Lake Harwia and heading now towards that's Lake Wanaka there. This is a really high tourist spot. Yeah. Um, yeah, people pulling in, yeah. pulling out, like they're right and You've got to be careful here. This is the, this is, actually, do you know what? There's a, I'm going to pull over on the way and show you. There is a gorge that you would never ever see f just by driving down this road. And I'll show it you and we'll try and video it. I, I really would love to get a drone up there. Richie, if you do happen to be watching this, when you come here, bring your drone, <laughs> bring your drone mate, because you're going you're gonna to want to drone footage this bit. I was talking to Richard the other day. He's, he's, I think he'd love to come and do, um, you know, some do riding here, do a trip here. Oh, that would be awesome. I think it would be as expensive as their American trip. The only difference is they wouldn't be able to ship the bikes here. No. Well, it would well they could have, ship the bikes here, but the the bikes would be gone, you know, for months. So they so they'd have to they'd have to either borrow some off some of my mates, which they could do. I'm sure I know I know enough people that I could probably piece together enough bikes for them to do it. Well, you're a bit precious about their bikes, though, aren't they? Some of them so. are because some of them are very expensive, but the, the large majority of people we know have got two or three bikes. Well, it's worth a, worth a shot, but I yeah. mean, you'd be able to hire them. Yeah, that would be very expensive. Yeah, true that. Uh, it's just because we're at the bottom of the planet, really. Yeah. Everything. Right, hold on, babe. Grief, the acceleration on this bike is nuts, isn't it? Down now. <laughs> it's like once you get up to speed, it's like, oh, it's it's quite happy sitting at this speed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, you know, if you do come, it, it is pretty awesome, I have to say. It's just uh, probably like no other place you've ever been. Would you say that? Well, the beauty of New Zealand is it's like this nearly every day. It's clear blue sky, and even when it's cold, it's clear blue sky. Yeah, yeah we do get our fair share of sort of crap weather, though. But it's yeah, but it's it's generally it comes and goes, and you know when it rains, like just the other day, it, it rained for an hour and a half, and then that was it. It was back to thirty degrees and beautiful. Downpour, yeah, and yeah. that was just because we're up in the mountains, and it every now and then has a bit of a shower. That's nothing more than it, you know. That's all it. That's all it is. It's just a shower. Well, they said on the news the other day that we've got three months of sun to go. If they said, it's a, yeah, it's a late summer. It's going to be a warm autumn. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. Look at the lake. Just yeah. Did you want to do the blue pool, babe? Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, it's gonna be. You're gonna be very excited when that arrives. Oh, I can't wait. I, I won't see you. That'll be it. <laughs> Well, I mean, the last four or five Saturdays, all day Saturday and most of Sunday, I've been editing. Yeah, like, you have. I haven't even been able to get out on the bike no, because I've been editing right. and editing and editing. Yeah, you've done a lot, actually. Yeah. But my goodness, you spin them out pretty quickly, baby. You've done really well. Yeah, but it still takes like a solid day to edit a video. Yeah. And I 
I just go in and take him food now and then and make sure he's still alive. <laughs> cups of tea, continuous cups Continuous of tea. cups of tea and visits to the loo. <laughs> <laughs> Get you a potty for in there. <laughs> Get me a flushable toilet. <laughs> yeah, a camping toilet. <laughs> With a comfy seat. <laughs> Get one of those sheepskin. Sheepskin. <laughs> sheepskin toilet, toilet seat. seat covers. Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right there. Right, getting off. <sighs> Okay, well done. Oh my goodness, are those bushes in there all right? <laughs> the bushes are fine, but it's definitely leaning over oh, way too far. Oh, me the willies. Yeah. <gasps> you know what you can get for this bike? You can get a lowered seat. Well, I think you should because, you know... You can get a different seat where you sit in an inch lower. Yeah, because, babe... Um, it is no, high. It is high. And, Pete's you know, got one on his. Well, you need to do that because, and you need to change can, your can space. Can you have members. a look? Are you still filming? The battery's very low, though. You've got one bar. Oh, one um, bar's okay for you good. You need to get rid of those space members. All right, hold my hand. And get in. Like, don't want you to walk out in front of the. Get some tread, treaded ones, like big fat tyres on them. That's the life, isn't it? They've got their bus and their car and everything. Yeah. Right, ready? We're going to cross over here. I've not actually stopped and had a look at this myself. Right, don't wander into the road. Turn round and like, Tubbs is... <laughs> wait for me, wait for me! <laughs> Wandering into the road. <laughs> Tubbs, get, get here now! Get to the boat bus. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. Huh. How about that? Isn't that amazing? It is awesome. There's, there's some sort of old bridge there. I wonder if that was some old, oh, yeah. old road. It probably was. Back in the day. I the would love to fly a drone down there. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? Hell yeah, we be amazing. Hey Richie, you need to come over so we can borrow your drive. Yeah, Richie, you need to video up there. I don't know what's up there. Oh gosh, they come down here quick, don't they? Yeah, um, don't step back. Wouldn't it be called kayaking down there? Oh, I don't think you could kayak down. That's like a proper rocky... But it just yeah. looks amazing. That is so cool, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Wow. Fancy that. So where is that coming from? I don't know, but it's like typical New Zealand. There's no signposts. There's no roads. You've got to hike. It's You've like got a goat track there. But the, I mean, that obviously, they're clearly... What's the bridge? Well, no, I mean, that, that valley clearly goes for miles oh, around that corner. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to explore that. Me too. I'd absolutely love to explore it. Well, why don't we? Because we're lazy. Oh, I'm not lazy. I'm right, hold my hand. We're crossing. Step over. Look at that water. Oh, oh shit. Jesus. It'll push you over there. Just about tripped each other up. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? It is nice swimming that little water hole there. It looks cold. It will be cold. Yeah. Am I still filming? Does my thing keep speaking? Yeah, 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 you're still filming. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, uh, it does that sometimes. I don't know why. Don't, don't come away from okay. me. Okay. Well, that is awesome. Yeah. I would love to put That's it That's awesome. It look like they are. Look, just sat there with their table and chairs. Yeah. Fantastic. Probably getting eaten alive by sandflies. Oh, I don't think it's until further up is it, the sandflies. I think it's anywhere there's water. But um, I would love to, we could park down there and do that walk up the river. See, that? Well, it just astounds me, all these places. You look across there. This I is get there. There's you, nothing. This is all private land, folks. You, yeah. Back in the day, you used to be able to buy like a million hectares <laughs> <laughs> for like $20. 
and of course now it's just all owned by families but you are allowed to go up there um, but a, a lot of places you do have to have some sort of permission, permission. Or, or at least have the courtesy to ask some the owner. They, ne they don't those, say no, they don't say no. A lot of them are like these huge stations, they call them stations. Yeah, it's a farm basically, they call them um, a station. Giant, enormous, thousands of hectares. They're not um, like the Australian ones which are even bigger again. Yeah. You know, like if you've ever seen the movie Australia. Australia. Which is, which is actually one of my top three movies of all time. It is so cool. I love that movie. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, so no, it's a bit different here. Not like the Australian ones. But they're still, the point is, they're still massive. Huge. Huge. Like you can't humongous. Take your days to walk across them, yeah. Days. Oh, days, yeah. Days and days. All right, you please be careful. Yeah, I will be. Did he wave? Yeah, of course he did. They don't have to wave, you know. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Though, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Life is united. Yeah, it's crazy to think that the Northern Hemisphere is under a blanket of snow and everybody's freezing. Crazy, and look at it here. A little bit of a precarious place to stop. Yeah. Ah, that was amazing. Wow. I hope you can see that on the GoPro. It's uh, it's never quite as clear. You got your gloves on and everything. Yeah. Woohoo! Love this road. <laughs> All right, where are we, babe? We're at the Blue Pools, Macarora, yeah. and we're just going to go for a walk through the woods to yeah. show you the beautiful blue glacial pools. Um, as you can see, it gets quite busy here. Yeah, and this is not the peak. Yeah, let me carry a helmet. No, it's fine. I've left my helmet there, and Kim's reckons it's going to get nicked, so hopefully it doesn't get nicked. Okay, we'll video some through the woods. I've got it on a different mode than what I usually have it on, so we'll see how this looks. Through the woods, or as Kevin say, the bush. The bush. Nothing wrong with a bit of delving Del around in the. <laughs> okay. The family show. Look, why don't they build a proper car park here? That's it there, yeah. <laughs> Daydreaming much. <laughs> Kiora, welcome to Mount Aspire National Park. Ranger Tanya is on this track to tell you about its unique World Heritage Area. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. All right. Okay. Tans, Old Tanya, eh? Uh, Tans. <laughs> Tessa. <laughs> Did you see his camera? Holy crap. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, he had it on a gimbal as well. Oh, really? Like a massive SLR camera on a gimbal. Anyway, here we go. This is New Zealand bush. Native trees oh. everywhere. Quite different from, from England. Yeah, and the ferns. Yeah. And the Where's the silver fern? I think I can find one. Oh, it's silver underneath. It's very tropical, isn't it? I mean, it's. You get it's or yeah. <laughs> ah, it's great. I love it. It's very different from English woods. Yeah, English woods is like muddy and leafy and. You know, like grassy almost, whereas here it's, um, it's got ferns, lots of ferns and tropical plants. There we go. Only 10 people on the bridge. Crikey babe, better make sure it's just me and you. Yeah. 
Look, all of them okay or one tubs? Right at the yeah. bottom. <laughs> That's not what it means. <laughs> That's what it means. No. Right, gotta be careful not to drop the GoPro. Woohoo! Here we go. <laughs> cool, eh? Look at these like jungle. Isn't it like jungle? Yeah. Just unreal. The moss and the ferns and everything, it's quite different, isn't it? You're getting bitten? Yeah. No, not bitten, they don't bite me, they they're like your fear English skin. My fear skin. Oh, Alright, go for it. Oh, because the, the, the shadow, you can't see how blue they are. Came down there, look. Probably see on this side. These guys are going to jump off. Nice. <laughs> going to lose her earrings. Freaking matter. <laughs> Pretty nice spot though, hey? Yeah. Look at that, isn't that amazing? I pulled a wheelie. What was that? That was a wheelie. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it, to be honest, uh, I've got to stop saying to be honest. <laughs> to be honest. It does make the working week so much more bearable when you can do this on the weekend. Yeah. Doesn't it? I get it. I was in a proper foul mood this morning. I just, and last night I was just exhausted. You were in a real stinker last night. I was really fed up, babe, to be honest. You were exhausted. I was tired. Yeah. When I get tired and stressed at work, I start getting ulcers in my mouth and my mouth was, uh, got some ulcers in and I'm just like, oh gosh, feeling old and wrinkly and run down and tired and that sucks. And then I made you a big bowl of pasta and you came right, didn't you? Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Not fully. This bike is just a, a road weapon, isn't it? Yeah. I, I mean, it, if you travel at the speed limit, this bike is so safe. You know, it corners so well and so safely. Like, we're going 100 now, it, it, it barely feels like we're moving. Yeah, so these, these corners at 100 just feel like nothing. I'm just going to pull into our little spot here and, and undo the GoPros and put them all away. Okay, baby. Now we could just cruise back. Sounds good. No, just a sip of water. 
What a day. Isn't it just amazing? Magnifique. C'est magnifique. Look at that. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Jump in the oven. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that bike leans over so far. It's ridiculous. Eh. I always hold like go there. I know. It's good that you do. It's too far. Mind you, if it was to fall on me, I wouldn't. I don't know whether this camera's videoing again, watch but look out, at. Oh, I thought you were going to walk past. Look at that. For that's lent over too far. Good grief. It's a bit my freaking only complaint with this bike is the side stand. Pretty nice view, hey? All right. What a spot. Just amazing, isn't it? That water does look very inviting, actually. It does, but you, you wouldn't want to swim right there where the water gets sucked into un, under the dam. Oh, hell no. I think that's why they've got the, the buoys up there. The buoys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's hot. Okay, I'm going to put this away. Okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs>